Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jay Spikes, and I'm back with another video. Uh, hey, look, 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 look. Hey, we just got through with them lights on that by shipping. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like the same day, but different video. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. If you got any questions, comments, or opinions, leave them in the comment box below, baby, because I talk back. It's your boy Jay Spikes, and what we do over here is a bunch of old school classic restoration restoration everything over here man you know what i'm saying hey we live we learn we live and we adapt man look we got some upgrades going on to the bus shit but we ain't gonna stop we're gonna keep this thing pushing we ain't gonna even play no game we finna turn this thing up try to make it to the summer listen y'all gonna like this one i'm gonna turn the camera around to show y'all what we got going on i told y'all if i tell you i'm gonna do something on this camera to anything that i own in this yard now i'm gonna do it so give me some time. Time is my worst enemy. Not money, baby. Watch this. All right. We in the box. 85 Impala. My junk. You know what I'm saying? You know, we got our dad boy. Pretty basic. Pretty plain. Pretty raggedy. Pretty ugly. Pretty OG. Pretty classic. Pretty, it just is what it is. But, I think my speedometer stopped working the other day and I mean, you don't have no gauges, you don't have no tack, you don't have no, you know what I'm saying, no battery voltage, you don't have no oil pressure light, you know what I'm saying, none, none of that. So, we about to upgrade this today, you dig? We about to upgrade this today, it's big boy time, we ain't gonna stop, you hear me? We not stopping, we is not stopping, you know what I'm saying? We is not stopping. <coughs> don't mind this up here, I only got this up here <coughs> because I ain't got ready to cut that yet. So I'm gonna record all that when I cut it. So that's why I just got him sitting up there. But look, check, check me out now. Big boy time, baby. Ooh wee, ooh wee, ooh wee. Let me set the camera up. Y'all see what this is? You see what they say? You see what they say, don't? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, let me get that thing out. The, I already done opened it and peeked at everything. Let me get it out so I can show y'all everything. And uh, yeah, y'all hold on. Alright y'all, check this out. I ain't sponsored by Dakota or none of that, but let me tell you something. I already know these products fly, so I'm about to unbox them and show you how they come out the box, straight out the box, you know what I'm saying? What you get with them so you don't have to guess, because I was guessing and I ain't know what I'll come with them. But I'm going to just let you know just in case you were wondering want to get these things for your box shipping, man. This ain't the big, big boy, this ain't the $1,500 one, but this the $1,000 one. It was like nine something, so, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's the truth. <laughs> Let's get this thing out of here. Everything you got, everything you got, you dig the control box. You know what I'm saying? You got your guide in there. I'll take my time and let y'all see that so people can know, man, what they been looking at. I know a lot of people with these box Chevy, you know what I'm saying, been looking at all these on the internet and considering buying them, just not knowing what you really get inside these things. But these are the, uh, these are the plugs and adapters to your sensors and stuff, your temp, your fuel, all that, your uh, oil. That's what they did right there. You know what I'm saying? So, I like that. I'm glad. I, I really didn't even know that these came with them. So, I'm happy that about that. You did? Yeah. Then you got the little switch plug. And you get a couple, couple stickers. And a card. And another manual. So, uh, that's pretty darn cool. You get some instructions. Instructions are always good. Because if you don't read, you need to read. Reading is fundamental. You know what I'm talking about? You got that. That's that plug to go into the back like a little phone jack. You know what I'm talking about? And of course, that's it, y'all. With the exception of that bad boy. Right there. Ooh. 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 Let's see if we can pull the corner off of her and see what she look like on camera. Ooh. Get a close up on it. Ooh. Close, close it back up. Close it back up. Close it back up. All right, y'all. So, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
This that 900 thousand dollar joint. The VHX. Yeah, VHX. And they supposed to light up blue, so my car ain't really gonna be blue. It's gonna be all blue, but it ain't gonna be really blue, so we're gonna see how it work. It's gonna have to work. You know what I mean? It's gonna be a nice, nice upgrade, man. Very elegant right there, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, we need that. So, uh, I don't know how, how, how this gonna go, how long it's gonna go. I ain't never did it, man, but I'm gonna take y'all with me. We finna get ready to bust this thing down. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, y'all stay tuned. Yes, sir. All right, y'all, I want y'all to say a prayer for me now. I'm gonna get started on this thing. I done made up my mind. I feel like the first thing I'm gonna start with is uh the sensors. We got three sensors. So I think I'm gonna run them wires first through my firewall, up around where I wanted it on the motor, and uh, try to see if I can get the right bones and stuff in them, and get them placed in the proper position. And uh yeah, go from there. Y'all stay tuned. Watch this. All right, y'all. I got the OG dash out, finally. It took me about 30 minutes, I ain't gonna lie. Probably 45 minutes, maybe. I got it out. Boom. There it is right there, boy. I, had to take, I took that thing all the way apart, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's your speedo cable right there, and that's that only little plug back there, and all them other plugs bolted in there. And um, I seen that you gotta take these two pins out right here this one and that one right there so i've been trying to find the right oh just found the right one socket to take that one off and uh yeah So let me do that, then I'm gonna dry fit the uh, Dakota Digital in. See what it look like. I'll bring y'all right back. Yes, sir. <coughs> All right, y'all. I'm back. It's about almost 12 o'clock. And uh, I'm working, man. I got it in there, I gotta put them bo two bolts behind it. Up under the dash, up under here. And uh, I'm working on the worm. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Got a few more to go. Got a few more to go, baby. And uh, got to run my speed sensor up under there and put it on the trains. And I got my oil. I gotta find my place where I put this oil and this temp sensor. In. I know where I'm gonna put this temp sensor. I'm gonna put that temp sensor right on top of the uh, thermostat housing. So yeah, that'll work pretty good. And uh, yeah, I gotta cut this wire and run one to the distributor for the tag, for the tag to work, and then that'll work. So yeah, y'all hold on. I'm working, baby. Yes, sir. No games. All work, no play. Yes, sir. It ain't that hard, is it? It ain't hard as I thought it was. It's just a little thinking and a lot of time into it and you gotta read these instructions step by step. It ain't fast, man. But yeah, we're gonna take care of this up in here. Oh yeah, it's a mess up in here. Old school, new school. Back in a minute, man. Yeah, the camera about to go dead. It's up. All right, YouTube, I'm back with this Dakota Digital, man. Check me out. I'm gonna give y'all another glance at that thing. It's kind of glary because the sun is shining all kind of different ways. But look, man, I done did some hella fire worm. Check me out. Let me zoom in real quick. Ooh, look at that. I got all my gauges working. And I was trying to run my fuel sending unit right off of these wires here because I know it's a wire right here. I think it's one of these pink wires. You got to use a pink wire and you got to use a black wire. But the instructions tell you specifically you know what i'm saying see right there dakota digital recommends that you run two wires 
back to the fuel leveling sensor to ensure proper grounds. Use the fuel and the fuel send terminals to run a twisted pair of wires back to your fuel leveling sensor. So, you know what I'm saying? That's what I was saying earlier about reading the directions. So, I had to read the directions and do what they told me to do instead of how I wanted to do it. And I got it to work. Let me fire it up. I'm going to let y'all see. You can't really see the blue, but you can see how the gauge is working. You know what I'm saying? They go to fuel. They go to temp. Cause I done had a car running. So it's sitting at about 180, just sitting there resting. You know what I'm saying? I got my volts. They low, like 12 volts. And it's on the EQ, 12 volts. You know what I'm saying? Now I got to calibrate the speed once I start driving the car or whatever, but let me see for the fire. <laughs> RPMs. RPMs work pretty good. They pretty responsive too, especially to this old 305. All pressure pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Like 30, 32 volts. I I got an alternator battery problem, but I ain't worried about it because we finna change all that out with this music. Everything looking good though. But yeah, I'll show y'all why I had to run them sensors here. So my oil sensor, you can see that oil sensor, that new sensor. I ran it right down there above the oil filter, you know what I'm saying, on side of the block. I took that factory oil, I don't know where it said, it might have failed, but I took that factory oil, fuel, oil sending unit out, and uh, I just put the new one in there with the fittings that they come with in the, in the kit, you know what I'm saying, them fittings right there. So they give you all different sizes, <clears throat> and depending on, you know what I'm saying, what motor you got, what block you got, or whatever, big block, small block, you use them different fittings on there with your oil sending unit. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you put you some tape on there. I got it ran where it won't get caught up in there. And we all good. All pressure on 100. Then you only got one wire that run back here, like I said, to your tech, to your, to your distributor on your tech. And uh, that's how your RPM work. And then you got your thermostat with your temp gauge. It's right here. Well, that's why I went, ran mine. You can, you can also go on the side of the block, the back of the intake, a whole bunch of different ways. You can put like a T in your radiator hose and put it like that. All kind of different ways with your uh, with your temp. The temp easy, that's the easiest one. And uh, your volts, of course, you know what I'm saying? I got that old ragged alternator, but she about to come over here. This battery about to come over here. All that. So, we good on that. And like I said, I had to run a wire back. I got two wires ran. I was in front of the car, I had to drop the fuel tank. Got that pink sending unit wire. Let me get up under there and show you. Got that pink sending unit wire, and you got a uh, black one that go to the top of your tank. And uh, I just double them up, and I gotta make them look nice and neat and stuff. But yeah, I got them in there, man. I ain't think I was gonna get that thing going, but it's going. But uh, yeah, man. Before we close the video out, I'm uh, when it get darker. I'm gonna come back out here and I'm about to try to get this box, this uh, control box put up a little better. Get some of these wires taken care of, get them looking a little better. And then uh, once it get dark, I'll bring y'all back, man, so we can see what this thing look at night. Look like at night, man. I'm excited. I ain't putting this. You see this shit right here? Look, I want for y'all to even say something. I know you can see them scars on that thing in the camera. I'm not putting that in, on, on, on front of this thousand dollar down Dakota Digital Dash. I'm gonna have to do something else with that before I put that on there. So I got it. Just let y'all know I got it. Ain't nothing wrong with you. See, it ain't broke. Look. But I ain't putting it on there right now. So you gonna have to give me some time with that one. But uh, yeah, <clears throat> when it get a little later, I'll bring y'all back and we'll close out this video, see what this thing look at night. Y'all hold on. All right, y'all, we in the box shaving. It done got dark outside, it's pretty dark. <clears throat> so I'm gonna give y'all a good little, uh, 
nighttime footage of this thing. You know what I'm saying? I need to really cut this light off so y'all can really get a good view of this thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Looking good too. Let me cut this light off and I'll turn it right back on. All right, y'all. Here the nighttime footage go. Hold on, let me cut this light off. Yeah. Here go the nighttime footage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got all my gauges working. I got to set my speed calibration. But other than that, you know what I'm saying? I got everything working. You know what I'm saying? EQ, reading like 14.4. As you can see, my folks reading about the same amount on my ditch deck. So, yeah, no. I'm finna get that big boy alternator, so we should be at a steady voltage pretty soon. We shouldn't fluctuate once we get that 320 out on. So, yeah, that's coming real soon. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all locked in. Got that notification bell turned on so y'all won't miss any of that good content, man. Let me show y'all how that. RPM gauge work. Watch, look, look, watch how responsive it is. Boy. Watch this. Yeah, so the digital dash uh, VHX. I like it, man. Pretty darn acceptable, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? A darn good upgrade to the box Chevy, man. Let me get, get back, get y'all a good look. Glance at that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like that. It's looking good, man. Darn good upgrade to the box, man. We're gonna keep this thing pushing. We ain't gonna play with it. Man, we're gonna keep upgrading this thing, man. Trying to take it to the next level. I'm, I always try to outdo myself. Ain't no competition. I just do what I like. When I see something, I like it. I buy it if I can afford it. If God bless me, you know what I'm saying? And um, that's pretty much all to that, man. We're gonna try to go stupid with this thing, man. I wanna put uh, stars in there, in the ceiling. I wanna do a lot of stuff, man. We're gonna do carpet, we're gonna do some LEDs on the doors. We're gonna do some LEDs in the um, cup, uh, the, the uh, cup holders, all type of stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? So y'all just make sure y'all stay tuned, man. The console, all that kick panels, we gonna do all that, man. Back dig. So yeah, man. We got the Digi Dash in there. I'm very happy with it. No complaints at the moment. And uh, yeah, we'll. I keep you locked in. Let y'all know how it turn out. But yeah, man. Y'all stay tuned. It's your boy Jay Spice. I want to give y'all some nighttime footage. Y'all make sure. Y yeah, y'all make sure y'all had that notification bell turned on so y'all won't miss anything your boy got coming to you, man, with these old school, with these cars, man. Cause we're gonna try to turn up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna try to turn up, do something, some big boy stuff, man. We doing some big boy stuff this year on the channel, man. But yeah, man, it's your boy Jay Spice. I'm gonna get on up out of here, man. This thing got dark. I did what I promised and showed y'all a good view of that uh, Digi Dash at night. We got it installed, thank God. And uh, on to the next league, baby. It's your boy Jay Spice. I'll holler at y'all on the next one. Yes, sir.